Today I'm going to show you what's new in version 3.0 of FlowPro Designer. There's a new button on the toolbar at the top here called the Cycle Annotation View. A bit of a mouthful, so I'm going to call it the CAV button. CAV button. Instead of having to go to View, then Annotations, then check the boxes to turn the various annotations on and off. You now have the option of clicking on the CAV button right here on the toolbar and turning the annotations on and off very quickly. As I click through it, you can see how handy that is. We turn, we're turning them on and we're turning them off. That's the CAV. Another very cool new feature is the side and top view detail that has been added to the wizard and the side toolbar right here. As this schematic shows you, you now have the option of creating a side view of the boiler room, just as if you're standing in the room looking at the wall. This view could be used by your technicians in the field as an installation guide. So it's a real world view of how you want the mechanical room to look. Let's open a new sheet and I will show you how it works and we'll start with the wizard. So we click on the wizard. We select your preferred boiler here. Next the number of zones we'll put two. This tells the program on which side you want the piping connections as if you're standing in the boiler room looking at the wall. So you can choose on the left, the top, the right, or the bottom. Then next we choose a system type. We'll choose Moose Antler. Then select the options such as zone valves, pumps, or a hydraulic separator. And finally we'll click on finish. And like magic, the little engineer inside the program draws this beginning schematic for you with the new view, with the new side view. So we get two components with the new view. First we get the piping block right here with the ready connections in and out and then we get the same matching connections in the side view. Here's the in and here's the out. We now can connect the piping block to the two imposed loads, being sure to connect supply one to return one. And as we do that, the information is pushed to the boiler and all of the components in between. You can also work with the new side and top view from this toolbar here on the side. Click and select the view, the pane size, eight by eight we'll choose then you get the two pieces, the piping block and then the side view box. So double left click on the piping block to fill in the number of zones. We can now drop in a boiler and build your own piping, pumps, indirect, etc. Then follow the same steps to connect the loads as we did with the wizard. And a few other things we've added besides uh, the CAV, those are the two main features uh, added in 3.0, the CAV and the brand new side and top view. We've also added a condensate neutralizer with all condensing boilers. We have added a glycol feed system. We've added Axiom selections for uh, condensate neutralizers and glycol feed systems. In the piping uh, selection box, we've added new materials, stainless steel, right here. New products from Vega, Vega PEX, Foster PEX. And we've added Vega Pro Press and PEX press fittings as well as aquatherm fittings and pipe. And those are the uh, new features in 3.0. That's it for now. Remember, 
You can get FlowPro Designer help on the FlowPro Designer support page, which is at the Taiko FlowPro website. You'll find a series of these short how-to videos plus tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts. You can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.